Hello everyone, it's Wisdom Wednesdays and this is a time of great, great collective anxiety and fear. And a lot of people I know, myself included, are really feeling affected by the collective, by the collective anxiety. A couple of people I know have had panic attacks recently for nothing particular in their own lives, but because they really are responding to the collective energy field. And so today I'm going to offer us all a beautiful way to be grounded and centered, to create more coherence for ourselves, and to also engage in collective prayer or subtle activism in order to help send love and coherence into the collective so that we can all relax a little bit more because the more we are stressed, the more likely we are to suppress our immune systems and then perhaps get sick. And another thing to think about in these times is that viruses are very interesting things and there are viruses that live inside us all the time. You probably have heard of the biome, so the gut bacteria that are part of us, that help us digest our food, that help us have good moods, and uh, the beneficial bacteria that live on our skin and help us help protect us from anything coming in to the body through the skin that isn't healthy. So we can have, we can shift our perspective a little bit too on viruses. So we also now, they're finding, have a virome. So there are viruses that live internally inside us. I talked about this a little bit last week. Um, there is actually, people who have the chronic herpes virus are actually protected from something else by having that virus. And I've, I've forgotten what it is, I'm sorry, and I haven't looked it up. But so let's, let's shift our perspective a little bit too on virus as enemy. Yes, definitely this new coronavirus can make people very sick. Some people don't get that sick. Most likely all of us are going to get it at some point. And so the best things that we can do are keep ourselves grounded and centered, boost our own immune systems, um, I have certain supplements that I rely on in order to do that for myself. I'd be happy to talk with you about them. If you're interested, put a message underneath and I will let you know. But it's really, really valuable and important just to keep ourselves going internally. And then our internal coherence, when we radiate out coherence, then we help to ease that collective anxiety. So we can be of help to really everyone on the planet by doing this for ourselves and by doing this as a collective. So I invite you to use this meditation anytime you're starting to feel that kind of wired energy that's coming from the collective or even if it's coming from within yourself because of the situations you're dealing with. So we can return to center and help to boost our own inner coherence, our energy levels, um, and our immune systems. So I'm going to use some tuning forks today and do some of what we do in biofield tuning, which is to connect us with earth and sun. These are the negative and positive poles of our internal battery. You can kind of think of it that way. So when we get plugged in to that earth energy, the earth energy rises up this way and flows around. And we get plugged into the energy from the sun. The cosmic energy comes down and goes around in our biofield like this. So when we get ourselves plugged in and get that energy really circulating strongly, we are already stronger and we are more grounded and centered and we are more able and capable to deal with whatever we have to deal with. So let's begin this by just closing our eyes or if you want to keep your eyes open and look at, look at my beautiful fairy tree that I'm sitting in front of today. I thought it was really appropriate with the, the fairy doorway in the tree and the little sparkings of light and the beautiful energy of tree 
which is also always really grounding and helpful. So close your eyes or not, as you wish, but begin by just connecting with breath. And I always tell my clients and students and remind them of this all the time, our consciously slowing and deepening our breath is our number one go-to thing to help us move out of the fight or flight sympathetic nervous system into the calming and centering parasympathetic nervous system. And this works through activation of the vagus nerve. And I've talked about the vagus in another Wisdom Wednesdays. But it's a, a long, it's actually a pair of long cranial nerves that go to all of our internal organs. So when we consciously slow and deepen our breath, we activate that calming aspect of the vagus nerve. So consciously slowing and deepening our breath, nice deep breaths into the belly. And the diaphragm is under the lungs and it moves down as we inhale, back up as we exhale. So a nice soft belly then allows the diaphragm to do that movement. So feel the soft belly, consciously slowing and deepening our breath. And we'll be continuing this kind of breathing throughout the entire meditation. Nice, slow, deep, conscious breathing. Taking a few moments, nothing to do but breathe. Noticing how that is already beginning to relax our systems. Now I'm going to begin tuning our earth star chakras. So the hologram of all of our earth star chakras is right here in front of me and these tuning forks are in it. These tuning forks are a harmonic of the Schumann resonance, the main frequency of Earth, Earth's deep, low frequency, Schumann resonance. We are keyed into this as beings of Earth. This is important and valuable for our health and well being. So it's continuing to breathe slowly and deeply and imagining. Your earth star chakra, this is one that is not taught in the traditional seven chakra system, but many systems do recognize that we have many more chakras. And the earth star's happy home is about a foot below the bottoms of our feet. So think of that. And for a lot of us, especially when we're anxious, it gets pulled up, it kind of gets pulled up in between our ankles. So continuing to breathe slowly and deeply, and I am gently encouraging our earth star chakras, which are pretty pulled up, to move down so that we can connect into earth. And we generally, as humans, seem to feel that we're safer if we pull our energy in, and we're actually not. So we actually really wanna be connected to earth in order to receive that flow of earth energy. So breathing and relaxing, sensing, just using our imagination, that's all that's needed. Imagine an orb that is slowly now moving down into the place where it is happiest, where it belongs, which is about a foot below the bottoms of our feet. And you'll hear me do a lot of this audible breathing that just helps to move and discharge energy so it encourages you to also do some of that as well and if you're having a little difficulty feeling this earth star moving down which it is let's think about taking some breaths and exhaling out the bottoms of our feet so that will help move the energy down move the earth star down out the bottoms of our feet, discharging some of that anxious energy into earth. All right, good. Now the earth stars are moving down, our collective earth star. So this is anyone who is watching this at any time is participating in this. All of you are here 
in the hologram as I am doing this. All right, so good. Now we're starting to get that kind of settling in. You may be feeling this in your body as well. You might feel a little ah, settling in as the Earth star drops down. And now we're going to connect to the center of Earth. We're going to drop a nice thick grounding cord, again, just using our imaginations. We imagine that grounding cord going down from our torso through the Earth star, all through the layers of Earth and rock and underground waters and underground fire and magma to the center of Earth. And we're going to feel and see that earth energy rising up this grounding cord as golden light, taking a moment to see it coming into the orb of the earth star, filling that with this golden energy of earth. And then see and feel this energy now flow up into the soles of our feet, up our legs, joining into the central channel and flowing all the way up and out the crown tops of our heads like a whale spout. So this is that way that it moves like this. The geometric shape of our energy field is actually called a tube torus. You can look it up on the internet, it's really beautiful. So now we have that flow from Earth, the negative flow of our internal batteries. So we're starting to recharge our internal batteries with this energy of Earth. We're plugged into Earth. <sighs> and this is a receiving pathway. It's also a discharging pathway. So let's take a couple of breaths to just feel that energy flowing up the central channel on the inhale and exhaling. <sighs> and discharging out and down into earth any of these energies that aren't serving us right now take another deep breath inhaling the energy up <sighs> exhaling discharging out and down into earth any energies that aren't serving and this is something that we're actually designed to do is to discharge energies into earth and because we wear rubber-soled shoes and we're inside a lot of the time, we have sort of lost this habit of being able to really receive energy from Earth and discharge into Earth. We can still do it through our rubber-soled shoes and through our, our houses and our foundations, our floors. It just takes a little more conscious attention and awareness to it. But I do suggest that as much as you can, you get your feet out of rubber soled shoes. I've got wool slippers on right now. So those are actually great. Um, things like leather soled shoes or getting your bare feet on the earth. And I know it's often, it's winter time, most of the Northern hemisphere, not a great time for putting our feet on the ground. All right, good. So now this, this pathway is flowing beautifully as I can see for all of us in this collective practice. And now we're gonna bring our awareness to our sun star, which is our, also could be thought of as our eighth chakra, divine self chakra. It normally should be, it's happy home, it's about a foot above the tops of our heads. And again, this tends to get pulled in. We think we're safer, but we're actually better off when we're plugged into our energy, our earth energy and our sun energy. So I'm now going to use the tuning forks in our sun stars and ah, okay. So first we have to address the collective anxiety. That's actually what I've been finding in working with clients in tunings and other clients is that we are, we have now a kind of collective cap over our crown chakras, which is this collective anxiety. And in some cases, it's also our collective, um, this collective story that, oh, we don't have a divine self, oh, that we don't get to connect to source directly. Some of the old religious teachings, only priests can talk to God and, you know, all kinds of stories that we have. 
that keep us from connecting this way. So I like to, an image that came in one of my tuning sessions was a thinking of this as like a beanie with a propeller on top, like in some of the cartoon characters, right? So I am now using the tuning forks in this collective cap here. It's just energy from the collective and we are going to see it remove and fly up and away like that beanie with the propeller. It's a great image too, because it's funny. <laughs> so humor is a really good way to get through these things too. All right, so the beanie is flying away, that collective anxiety cap, and those collective stories that say, no, no, we can't collect like this. It's all your imagination, it's woo, it's fake. It's real, it's real. So. Now I am tuning our sun stars and I'm going to encourage them to move upward to their happy home, again, about a foot above the crown. Good, and this is actually quite a bit easier after clearing the collective anxiety cap. So we're gonna to continue to breathe consciously and deeply. That soft belly. Slow, deep breaths, continue using the breath this way. And again, with our imaginations, we see our sun star chakras moving up into their happy homes and then filling with this coherent, vibrant, harmonious sound from the tuning forks. This is what it looks like where I'm holding them in the sun stars with, of our collective here. So these are low frequency weighted forks, so you're not hearing the sound, but the sound is there. So feeling that orb of our sun stars with this coherent, harmonious sound, good vibes, the good vibrations. <sighs> Continuing to allow our systems to settle and receive quiet and calm as we come into this coherent state Good, now our sun stars are in place and now we're going to connect to our sun and to what we can think of as the central sun, the center of all creation in the universe. And we're going to bring a crystalline golden white light in from there through our sun to come into our sun stars. See that orb? of the sun star or the eighth divine self chakra filling with this cosmic energy, the energy of the sun, which we're also keyed into as human beings who live on the planet, who live under the sun. The energy of the sun is also necessary for all the plants on earth. So we are in a way like the plants, we depend on drawing that energy up from earth and down from sun. So we see that sun star full of this crystal and golden white light. We now see that energy connecting directly into our crown, flowing down our central channel to our earth star and back around. This is again, another tube torus. So the energy flows down the central channel and back around and up. So the energy is coming this way now. So now we have our double flow. We are plugged in to earth and sun. This is the sun is the positive pole of our internal battery. You can think of it that way. So our internal batteries are being recharged. So feel this energy recharging you. <sighs> Maybe just let out a breath, a nice exhale. Feel yourself settle even a little more. And now we're going to just continue to run this energy. So we hold the intention that this energy is continuing to run for us as we now are going to send some of this coherent, calming energy out to the collective. Again, we just do this with our imaginations. We're connected in always to the collective field. And when we pay attention, we can actually do this, send our energy out into the collective to help 
affect positive change. So I invite you to bring your energy awareness into your heart now. Just breathe. Continue our slow, deep breathing as we connect in with our hearts. We allow our hearts to fill with this beautiful energy of love. This is the essence of creation, is love. It's what I've received from my guides. Bringing our awareness into our heart, it can be good to just put your hand on your heart or fingertips on the heart, just bring the awareness there. And I call on our highest and deepest level guides and helpful ancestors to be with us in this practice, any of our allies from the subtle realms to assist us in this practice. And we hold the intention that we are safe and protected as we do this practice. We will be sending our energy through, out through a protective membrane, like a cell membrane. We're going to imagine a white membrane of light between us and where we're sending our energy to, so that we are both only sending out what is for the highest and deepest and greatest good, and we only receive back what is for the highest and deepest and greatest good. So we're protected as we do this practice. Breathing into our hearts, seeing our heart energy expand. The heart actually has a larger energy field than the brain. So we see our heart energy expand, and we see our heart energy now moving it through the protective membrane into our group energy field. And this is the energy field of all of those who are doing this practice at any time. And we see our group heart forming. And as this group heart forms and takes shape, we see now a stream of beautiful, let's see, what color am I called to send? It's like, um, it's the traditional color of the heart chakra, kind of an emerald green, a beautiful emerald green color, the color of the heart chakra. So we're gonna see this streaming out into all humanity on the planet. So you can imagine this as a web of emerald green light sending out <sighs> to the hearts of all people on the planet and we're sending this love and we're sending this coherence and harmony we're sending the release of the collective anxiety we're sending the connection to earth and sun as we send this love coherence and harmony into the collective into the collective field and I kind of see this as a web that goes out over the entire planet, kind of at human level, right? So we see this beautiful, beautiful green web of light extending out across the planet. And we see then sparks of this light then appearing in all the hearts of all the people on the planet as we send coherence, we send harmony, we send release of anxiety, we send strength, we send connection. <sighs> For those of us who are sheltering in place, as we are here, we can connect this way in the collective. We send this beautiful energy out to all humanity. And as we send this in this collective practice, we are each elevated by this. And we each are going to receive more of this love, harmony, coherence, and release of anxiety back to ourselves when we bring our awareness fully back to ourselves. So we send this energy we're going to intend that 
this energy is going to continue to flow for as long as needed. As we gradually now begin to bring our awareness back into our group energy field, to our group heart. And as we bring our energy back into this physical body, in this time and place, we understand that again, we're bringing this back through the filter so that only what is coming back to us is what is for our highest and deepest and greatest good. So bring the energy now back into self, into this physical body, this present time and place. <sighs> Another deep breath. If you have closed your eyes, you may open them gradually now. And I want to end this with a poem. This uh, came into my email inbox through my friend and mentor, Deborah Allen. This is a poem by a woman named Lynn Unger. Pandemic. What if you thought of it as the Jews consider the Sabbath, the most sacred of times? Cease from travel, cease from buying and selling. Give up, just for now, on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray. Touch only those to whom you commit your life. Center down. And when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that we are all connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's hands. Surely that has come clear. Do not reach out your hands. Reach out your heart, reach out your words, reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love for better or worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we all shall live. Thank you, Lynn Unger, for that poem. And that's what we just did. Isn't it? We sent out all the tendrils of compassion and love that move invisibly. Blessings to all of you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and continue using this practice to create more coherence and groundedness for yourselves. See you next time.